Exactly. <laughs> That's amazing. So what about theistic evolution? Like some people, they take this view, they're religious, they don't want to give up their religion and they believe in their religion, but they think, and so, even in the Muslim world here, we have some people, they are propagating this idea that evolution is true, it's irrefutable, we cannot deny it, but uh -huh. it was directed by God. Do you see uh -huh. a, a, like a contradiction in terms, Dr. B, or you yeah. see it can happen for... Well, um, that's, that's a good point. Um, theistic evolution means a number of different things. Mm -hmm. uh, theistic evolution can mean, well, God made the universe and then kind of left his hands off and the outplayings of natural law produced, uh, produced life uh, and not at his direction. And, or you can say, well, yeah, I think God was directing the processes to build up life. <laughs> uh, but we can't tell that. That's you know, a matter of faith. You know, you, the scientific evidence doesn't show that. <laughs> or you could say that uh, God you know, made the universe, is directing the processes that make life, and I can tell from the physical structure of the organism that, in fact, it was guided, it was designed somehow that it was the product of a, of a mind. And so that last option I think is perfectly fine because you're 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 saying the most important the most important uh, point in this discussion is design versus randomness mm -hmm. so if you say that God guided it and I can see that it was guided because of the uh, functional purposeful arrangement of parts uh, then that's that's intelligent design you know uh, people can differ and say, well, I think that God actually directly created these things. Or and somebody else can say, well, I think all of the information was physically present at the beginning, but it was put there by God. Well, those are details, I think. Uh, the important point is that you can tell uh, that it was designed. Theistic evolutionists, on the other hand, who say there was no guidance, well, that's functional atheism, yes. I think. <laughs> and the ones who say that uh, there uh, was guidance, but you can't tell unless you have faith, I think, well, you know, I, it, it's hard to, <laughs> to know about that, but I, I think they are scientifically mistaken, that if, if they were correct, then Richard Lenski's work in in his laboratory in Michigan should have produced something more interesting than, than broken genes. That's amazing. Very amazing. Yeah.